a very special announcement to make. This episode is actually sponsored by Heinz because uh, this episode we're going to catch up. Get it? Catch up. What's up, guys? It's the Dowza, and we are back here on the V4 Vanilla server, and today, like I said, it's time to play catch-up. Um, I've had a lot of time between now and the last, like, real episode we did, uh, because we've been doing a lot of server... God, that's so loud. Why didn't I cut it out? <laughs> um, we've been doing a lot of server stuff, so there's been a lot of, like, server-type, like, a server event-type episodes coming out, um, like, uh, fighting 34 wither bosses and slap fighting and stuff. Uh, but the last real episode... Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Just a quick server restart. I guess I missed that message in the chat. Uh, but, but the last real episode we did, um, I built the, the the walkway out here, the, the boardwalk, and we also built the fishing hut. And um, I'll, I had a little reminder in this episode uh, of something else I wanted to show you guys. Um, cause I, I was talking about villagers, I think, or something like that. I was talking about emeralds or something, and I recorded, I recorded a little clip that I was going to add to that episode, and, uh, we just didn't have enough time, so I saved that footage, and, uh, and we're going to get into it right now, uh, because it is the perfect video to do it, because there's, there's some work I've been doing with villagers, and, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, so let's roll this clip real quick, and then we'll jump straight into what we're doing next. As I've mentioned before, we have that natural mob farm over there, and uh, to check that out, we actually come down right here. This is where they all land, and uh, those are the hoppers that they die on. Everything gets sucked up into there and stored away into those uh, that storage, but also, over here, we got a ton of farmers. A whole ton of uh, farmer villagers, and this is going to be a future shop at spawn, possibly... I don't know. I think. This might be a future shop at spawn. I'll bring all these guys. Uh, but these are all the ones that do not have the lowest trade. All of the ones that have... The lowest trade they could possibly have is 15. 15 carrots, 15 potatoes, or 15 wheat. And uh, all of those guys I have stored down below with the rest of the villagers. Any, any, any other farmers I bring up here and I just let them chill in this field. As you can see, everything is grown and they are not harvesting it. That means their inventories are full. So usually that means I just come in here and uh, I'll rip all this out and uh, with a fortune three to make sure we get uh, all the carrots we possibly can. And I, d I don't even worry. I don't even worry about replanting it. That's really loud. I'm sorry. I don't even worry about replanting it because these guys, since they have full inventories, will come back through and replant. So uh, it's all profit for me. All profit. So doing this, we get a whole ton. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna do it all. I'm not even gonna do it all because we have so much. Doing that is all profit. All carrots belong to me. And I bring them over here to these chests, and I start filling these bad boys up. You can see, if I actually harvested it all, we would have a ton more. Not a, not many potatoes. Not many potatoes, because we're only planting carrots right now. Uh, but I'm going to show you why this is so great. Um, so, not only can we harvest it, but they also trade carrots to each other. Sometimes they'll throw, like... A half stack or more sometimes they'll throw a full stack at each other and they'll miss it and it'll just hang out on the ground and I'll walk through and pick it up um, there are ways we can make it so they get auto picked up we'll talk about that uh, later on in the video probably um, but let me show you so I'm gonna fill my inventory with carrots and l let's take the fast route down this is this is just how I bring all the villagers back up to that little farm area and we have all of these villagers. So these villagers over here are all 15 carrots for one emerald. And then over on this far corner, I think this guy might actually be, uh, what are you? Uh, yeah, you're, you're carrots too. And then over here, uh, this guy is very special because he has both carrots and potatoes uh, for 15. And, boom, I got two of them. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, but for now, we only got carrots. So we're going to go over to these carrot guys. And check this out. Watch how many emeralds we get from this. Just from one stack, four emeralds. So that's that's obvious math right there. Fifteen emeralds, or fifteen carrots for one emerald, so we can get four emeralds for each stack. And uh, I'm going to blow through just this. I'm going to do this inventory full of carrots really quick, and you'll see how many emeralds I get just from this. Alright, are these guys locked up yet? Oh, he's still good. So these other guys have actually locked up, and they're not opening their trades, so I'll have to come back... And, uh, and spend a few 
emeralds to open it. Probably just one emerald, I think. Well, let's see here, actually. So, what can we buy? For one emerald, we can get some bread. Uh, we can get some pie. Or we get five apples. If I just buy... Actually, you know what? I can always use some apples. I'll buy some apples from him. That should open you back up. Yeah, he's opened back up, so now we can use him again. So I'm not even done with this inventory full yet. It might... It, judging by my emerald count, it might look like I went back and got some more emeralds. But I didn't, man. These guys are just... These guys are just so good. So this... Okay, you guys all locked up. I'm not going to spend any more emeralds on you. I'm going to come over to this guy because I know you're new and I know you'll take all of the goodies I have. Wait, you have a... Uh, yeah, you got 15 carrots. Um, you guys might have thought I went back and got some more carrots to do this, but I didn't. This is just one inventory full. I'm not even done yet. And... Ah, come on. Come on. A little bit quicker. We're almost done. They lock up really quick. Or they, they, they don't lock up, but they, they stop trading pretty quickly, so you got to keep going. Um, so I'm going to come over here. We need to get this done, guys. This is supposed to be a short little clip, for Pete's sakes. Boom. And one more. Come on. One more trade. That's all I need you to do. There we go. Okay, so bam. So just off of one inventory, not even inventory full, uh, obviously I got spots taken up, but look at that. Look at that. Over a stack and a half of emeralds just from one inventory full of this. And up there I got three, four, I think close to five double chests full, which equals up to about um, six to eight inventories full. So I'm, I'm going to get, oh, I, I, I don't even know how to math. My mind is so blown right now. I'm going to get a ton of emeralds off this, so if you guys want to make emeralds, then then uh, then crops is definitely the way to do it. Alright, so here we go. For science, I have traded all of the carrots I have. Um, making carrot money, son. Uh, all the carrots I had up there, I'm trading away. Oh, you're going to lock up now. These guys are so tedious. Like, they lock up. They lock up for nothing. And uh, so I've I've had to spend quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of emeralds to keep these guys happy, buying a lot of cakes and apples and bread and other stuff like that, which I'm not complaining about. It, it's it's very nice having all this cake. In fact, it gives me some ideas of uh, of some things I could do at spawn with all these cakes coming up soon in, in the next few episodes. Will you please unlock, man? Come on, we got to move on. With the, it, we're getting towards the end of the video here, and you're just taking up my time. There we go. Just the last little bit. Last little bit of carrots right there. Boom, we got eight left. Okay, let's come up here and see what we got. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. These chests right here were all completely full. You can see they're all empty. And uh, look at that, Dehosa. I made a diamond hoe. That's like the one thing you don't do in Minecraft, and I did it. Who's mad? If you're mad, leave it in the comments below. Um, so uh, I had to spend a few emeralds, like I said. It you have to spend money to make money, as they say. So we got quite a bit of cake. And then down here, I've just been dumping everything in. I have I have not looked at the emeralds we have, but obviously we have a lot. Um, I don't think I don't think there's a crafting table in here. Let's go back into the main storage. And now let's see. So five double chests, and they weren't full. I think it was about four and a half double chests worth. And we traded it all away, and also keep in mind we also spent quite a few emeralds to keep the villagers uh, unlocked. And holy crap, okay, here we go, we're almost done. Bear with me, tedious, tedious. Boom, look at that. One stack plus 48 blocks of emerald. That is more emerald than freaking, it's a lot of emeralds basically is what I'm trying to get at. Look at all that. Look at all these emeralds I got. This is all from like rotten flesh and paper and all that other crap that I do. But these carrots and potatoes are going to be some serious money makers. All right. So, and we got all this crap, all these apples and all this other crap. Oh, look, Odaliska signed online. Oda, Exo, and MG are the ones online right now. But okay, I'm done here. I just wanted to show you guys this epic, epic thing I got going on here. Okay, a little long-winded, pretty long of a clip, it's like half a video long, so <laughs> we'll keep moving on. Uh, but I talked about doing this, so we looked at this, we looked at all these guys, and uh, I've added a few villagers since then, my, my villager breeder is always running. Um, but we talked about this, and you know, all the carrots, and uh, we got all these emeralds. Well, <laughs> let's come over here, these are actually all filled up again, so I need to do that all over again. Uh, man, I got so many emeralds just coming out of my ears. Uh, but... These no longer grow fully. Like, uh, I don't think anytime soon, maybe ever, I don't think I'll ever see all of these fully grown. 
because there's new villagers in here that I didn't fill up their inventory, so they're constantly uh, planting and stuff. Plus, all the stuff that drops on the ground is now being picked up by this minecart. So as you can see, um, it, it's not, it's not, it's a little sloppy. Uh, I put a lot of powered rails just because I want it to go through this as quickly as possible. Um, so there's a hopper minecart. It's actually over there unloading all the stuff it picked up now. But items can be picked up through tilled soil. So you see those carrots sitting right there? Oh, it just went around too. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, it got picked up. It got picked up by that. And then what it does is it comes over here. And, uh, oh man, there's so much to show you. I don't even know how to explain this. Um, but since so many crops are being picked up, uh, they're constantly planting and uh, and trying to harvest everything. Still trading, st still trading crops to each other, and mostly it gets picked up uh, by the hopper minecart. And I just have it wired up to this clock here, and this clock is powered by four stacks of cobblestone, which equals about oh, I figured it out. I can't remember now. It's like every two and a half minutes or three minutes or so, uh, it'll switch this powered rail right here on and off. So, since it's on right now, it'll come all the way back here, bounce, and then take the trip back through again. And of course, on the other side, there's a powered rail there also, so once it hits that side, it just comes right back to the beginning. And then once those four stacks come through the hoppers and go to the other side, it switches this redstone block over to this side, which uh, of course unpowers this line, because this line won't be touching the redstone block. And uh, it'll then turn off this powered rail here, which stops the cart on this on this and then the hoppers below that will actually suck up all of the uh, all of the crops and storm away in this chest temporarily um, and then this little redstone wire uh, well it, there's a redstone wire here also that I just took off this line and uh, inverted the the current of the redstone and that is just so I can know when to turn this off if this ever becomes a leg issue or anything like that because the clock the clock can tend to be a leg issue, uh, but it hasn't been for me. Um, but when this red light is on, or when this light is on, that means the cart is stopped down there. So we were able to shut that off, and uh, it powers everything off. Uh, you can shut it off any time. It's just best to do it when the light is on, because that means um, that means the powered rail is for sure on the off position, and this kind of just locks it on the off position. Um, but uh, th those hoppers sucking everything down, um, down to that chest. It could very easily be, uh, wired up to have an item elevator, and we can just bring that up to these chests, which I'll probably do eventually. Um, but anyways, th that, that is one point I wanted to make, was that we actually did this, um, got this all set up. It works pretty well. Uh, these blocks right here are there just because we need to have water sources inside, uh, inside the farm there. But it, it worked out fine. I was able to uh, to get the tracks to go around it and everything. At first, I didn't put any lights in here. You can see, like, right here I have one, and right there I have a light. Uh, I didn't have any lights in there, so every once in a while there would be a freaking spider or something. Usually a spider, because it's the only mob that, you know, can fit in this space. Uh, but a spider would spawn in there, and it would bounce the cart all around as a pain in the butt. So anyways, I could have done this on camera with you guys. I wish I could explain how this redstone works exactly, but uh, I would just I would just fumble my words and stuff. But this is the redstone line that comes up here. These are the storage chests we were just looking at. And when you flip that lever, it just powers all of this, comes down here, and then it, it locks this hopper so no more items can go through. Um, and then this is just a simple clock right here. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Um, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's a very simple clock and it works. And then this redstone line over here, blah, 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 comes up here, goes up this, uh, redstone tower you see right here. And that goes up to the light. Ah, uh, so yeah, this thing works wonderfully. Um, I did recently, oh, I need to eat. There we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm eating lamb chops or mutton. They're freaking lamb chops. You know what? You know what? I'm so sick. I'm so sick of this being called mutton. There's nothing appealing about the word mutton, you know? So, here we go. Here we go. Lamb chops. There we go. Now I'm happy. Oh, there's my computer making loud fan noises again. You know what? For you guys, let's wait. Let's wait for the fan noise to stop. Oh. Oh, it's done. Okay, good. I got to enjoy a long sip of coffee, and, uh, and it was a beautiful moment. 
Ah, so, is there anything else I want to explain here? Look at this, we got our lamb chops, that's ridiculous. Anything else I want to explain? I don't think so. This is, uh, this is working wonderfully. There's been a few times that I have emptied out the chest down there. Oh, ruined it, ruined it. I really need to, uh, redirect it, though, because, or make a bigger storage of some kind. I also threw potatoes in there. Uh, I threw, like, three stacks of potatoes, um, into the field, and it, I'm glad to see that, that it's, uh, it's actually working out. So that's pretty cool. It seems that they're planting and uh, harvesting and doing things with potatoes. So now we can we can have both going. Uh, got tons of carrots for now. And uh, and down here, as we know, we have all these farmer villagers and stuff. Um, I've done a little bit of cleanup down here as well. I've moved my beacon. The beacon... Oh, man. God, there's so much th stuff I've been working on lately. So much off-camera time and stuff. Um, but uh, I think that's it. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the crops now. Let's move on to something more interesting. All right, so we all know this area. This is my main storage. Uh, you know, th this is my bulk storage out here. This is my main storage in here where all my, all my good stuff is, and you know, my chest and everything. Uh, so right outside this door, we come through. This is a little temporary, um, temporary potion room. And then out here, we have our all the loot from the natural mob spawner we have up there. Then we have this hallway, so I've done a little bit of decorating with this hallway. Um, I've also changed all of my beacons to purple, just because I feel like it's more royal. And, uh, and we definitely have like a castle kind of theme going here, so I feel like, I feel like it made sense. Uh, but I decorated this hallway a little bit more, I put some more um, iron armor suits up here to decorate. But, down here, we got a whole new room, check this out, what's that say? Flesh Hall. Oh yeah, this, ladies and gentlemen is the flesh hall and it is designed very similar to the switcheroo uh, but these are not switcheroos the switcheroos are a button you press and uh, for instance it would drop this villager down and it would pop another villager up in its place so the switcheroo is kinda like a storage for two villagers but this is not what we're doing here these are all stationary uh, holding places and all of these look these are all full this is 10 on this side and 10 on this side I have 20 clerics all with the lowest flesh trade possible. Um, so, I've been collecting them forever, so I figured maybe they need their own home. So I made the flesh hall here. And I've already filled this up. This is already 20 freaking clerics. So, I came back here, <laughs> and I'm starting to do another 20. So we might end up with like 40 clerics. Um, luckily, all of the mobs around here are dispensed, or dispersed uh, around the area. They're not all in one area. Uh, just once again to try to avoid any kind of lag. So yes, I do have, I do have 20 villagers, uh, you know, in this area, and I got a bunch more downstairs and a bunch more over here and a bunch more over there. Uh, but I disperse them out to avoid any kind of lag. I've been playing Minecraft long enough to know that I can have a lot of entities as long as I know how to use them. Um, so yeah, uh, but. Oh, I don't know how much time we have left, so I'm going to jump straight into this one, and then I'm going to go check the time to see if we have time for anything else, because there's just all kinds of things I want to do, and I didn't really sit down and decide what this episode will be specifically, but I knew I needed to get the carrot uh, footage in there when we traded the carrots, I knew I needed to talk about the new... Uh, it's it's really an automatic... Uh, it's a fully automatic carrot farm is what it is, and potato farm. What the hell was that what the hell was that for real I didn't know I was recording yet but I don't know what the hell just happened anyways hey Dunmar Dunmar showed up uh, he tried to kill me in the death games and it's coming back to pay my diamond oh 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 that 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 debt he said he was coming back to pay a debt I thought it was death games I forgot I loaned him some diamonds Cool. Thank you, Dunmar. Anyways. Oh, is this where... That's weird. You guys saw it. Let's do a replay. I was over there, man. I was over there. Anyways. Okay, weird. Okay. I, I know we were just in a different place, and then all of a sudden we're here, and things are blowing up, and I don't know what just happened. Um, I had plans uh, for... I need to fix that. I had plans for putting another clip into this video... Um, we prank somebody for their birthday, that's all, I'll, all I will say, uh, and I'll also say that there are going to be two V4 Vanilla videos this week, so be on the lookout for that, because we just didn't have enough time for this episode. Um, but anyways, 
uh, we didn't do that. We, we, I did record an outro. I did record a whole other last part of this video, but I didn't realize how how tight on time we actually are. We're out of, we're out of time now. Uh, so I figured we'll end this in a different way. Um, we're going to trade all of those carrots that we have stored away over here for emeralds. And I'm pretty sure I already know how much emeralds we're going to get because of that clip we saw earlier. Uh, but we're just going to get a whole bunch more emeralds. Um, a whole bunch, whole bunch more emeralds. I don't know, I don't know why I tried to say that twice. And I also want to mention, be sure to stay around in the video uh, until after the outro music because there was, there's a lot of shakiness in this episode today. Recording this, a lot of bloopers and stuff. So I decided, hey, why not? At the end of the video, after the credits, uh, I'm, I'm gonna roll some. Uh, <laughs> Some some blooper footage, so so look out for that. As embarrassing as it might be, a little bit of rage once in a while, uh, but I, I thought I thought it was video worthy. So so stay tuned till after that. But for now, I'm gonna trade all of these freaking carrots to these guys, and we know how tedious this can be with how much they lock up and stuff. So I imagine I'll probably be here trading for a good 20 to 30 minutes, uh, but it'll be no problem to you guys because right after this jump cut, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm all done now. I hope my sound isn't too different. I feel like it is. Like even on my headset, it's quieter. Might sound a little bit different. It's been a while. It took it took quite a while to uh, to get rid of all those carrots. And obviously, you know, I had to do a little bit of extra trading with them. So we got a bunch of bread and apples and pies and cookies and cakes and all that crap. So in the meantime, while I was trading all of those carrots, um, I actually joined Dunmar in his stream, and. Uh, we had a little bit of fun. You can see I have no armor on at the moment. That's because there was a bounty put on my head. So Dunmar does live streaming, and uh, you can donate to the live stream. And two nights ago, uh, Mad Exile donated $10 to have Dunmar come kill me, which was successful. <laughs> and then tonight, uh, we, we just brought up the conversation. We, we brought up that night. We're like, oh, yeah, you remember that? That was... That was hilarious. I didn't see it coming. Blah, blah, blah. All this. Next thing you know, another donation comes in from Matt. And then yet another donation comes in from Chase, who is like a big supporter of like everybody on V4V. He's not even a member. He's just a... He just supports everybody in the comments and stuff like that. He's a really cool guy. Uh, but then he donated $10 too. So now there now there was two bounties on my head. And and I knew it was coming. So, uh, so you know, I took off all my armor got rid of all my items, I, I did a, bu a bunch of enchanting, got rid of all the levels, uh, but I got all these levels back, I got 43 just from trading those carrots, uh, but anyways, long story short, uh, some things went down tonight, so, um, I'm probably gonna upload an extra video, uh, well, I don't know, I don't know how to do this, but there's been so much going, okay, so here's the problem, on Dozacraft SMP, usually, it, I have a hard time trying to, trying to put together a video, like, I, I don't know. I don't know where, where I'm getting at, but uh, but on V for V, there is so much happening all the time that I can't get it all on 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 a video. It's crazy. I, I just miss it. I don't have the opportunity to record uh, all the things that happen. It's just insanity. It's, it's insanity on the server. I'm losing my my train of thought here. You know what? I'm just gonna stop myself. I'm gonna stop myself right there. Don't worry about whatever. I don't worry about it if I got cut off in the middle of a sentence there. Uh, I started getting on a on a little case of the rambles. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode today, guys. Um, another episode going up this week. We're going to do two episodes this week. Uh, just because I've been so, so busy. Where's all my freaking... I think they're in this chest. Ah, there's everything. Um, but yeah, there's going to be two videos this week. So be on the lookout for the next one. Mm, Thursday or Friday, I think. And a lot of good things going on on that episode. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to tune in next time, and also be sure to keep watching until after the credits. Going to have a little bit of a blooper reel. It's going to be hilarious. Very eventful day today. The video is kind of sloppy. My commentary is kind of lacking because I'm just tired. I'm tired, guys. It's been a week. It's been a week, and the effort trying to record this video has been just in insane in its own. I'm just going to shut up. Okay, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode later this week. Wow, I literally just had a brain fart because I couldn't remember how to do my outro. Uh, I remember now. Love, peace, and chicken grease.
Yo 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 What's up guys it's the Dowson we are back here in the Dowson What's up guys it's the Dowson we What's up guys it's the Dowson we are Yo yo wow What's up guys it's the Dowson we are back here on the V4 vanilla server Oh every time I say my name like I I just took like three and shoved them in my mouth <laughs> this computer is so loud. So this area, we all. <coughs> so this area, we all know this area. Oh, f***ing sh stash! Look, go away. Hmm.